Today I will be comparing ENCA and Usroom Africa's versions on the Makwa Lume murders which was broadcast on the 17th August 2020. Both broadcasters covered the court cases on the day. Both broadcasters had opening PTCs that had recapped what had transpired in court. Becky Taylor then explained why that was. He confirmed the suicide firstly, but said that that would now form part of an IPID investigation. And what so the minister has told us is that he confirmed the first suspect in this case linked to the Umtwalume murders committed suicide. Um, this... However, ENCA was able to provide visuals for Becky Taylor's interview whilst News in Africa just recapped on what he said. Let's listen in to what Becky Taylor had to say to us on that. That man was more linked by, by this one who is late now. And he is, de is, a, is, a, is denying that he was part of it. And then ENCA had a PTC in the middle of protesters whilst News from Africa just stood in front of the court. And as you can see, they have gathered in their numbers here outside the court. This has been quite a, an emotive issue for them to deal with, particularly for the women in this area. There is a little bit of the court anger over after the case. The audio was much cleaner by NCA, in my opinion. Um, Usurum Africa's journalist's voice was interrupted. Because there's not enough evidence Africa. against him. Uh, he will no longer be charged with any criminal activity and the matter hasn't been enrolled in court. Now, we did ask him if the suspect... I don't know if Usurum Africa just couldn't get to court on time for the processing action because it just seemed they lazily to stand in front of the court to do the PTC after everything was done whilst ENCA was just seemed way more determined to be right in the middle of the action. Overall both broadcasters had their highs and lows but ENCA was just more professional and dedicated to the story in the end which made a much more interesting viewing experience in my opinion.